Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how to find your faith that good things will happen. And, you know, even if you're going through the shitter right now, I want to tell you that everything's going to be okay. Because years ago I was going through the shitter. I was socially isolated and then I started to think I was going crazy because I thought music was starting to speak to me. So the music was giving me like some sort of spiritual awakening because I thought God was talking to me through the music. And the lyrics were saying that I am in control of my life and that, uh, you know, I have the power to change my life because I was isolating myself and I knew I'm the one with the power, but I was like, I was asking for God, you know, to help me, like, you know, become better and stuff like that with uh, social things, but like, I never thought I would be as social as I am now, and like, I'm just telling you guys that everything gets better, and it took years, and I was in pain for years, years and years, but you know, as much as you think it's not going to end, it is going to end. And everything in life is temporary. Every feeling is temporary. Like the feelings of pain, anger, distrust, stuff like that, those will go away. They will dissipate over time. And I just want to let you know that everything will be okay. Trust me. Even now, I still have moments where I'm, you know, going through pain and it's okay because I realize in my heart that pain is beautiful and I've had moments where I was freaked out because of the things that was happening to me like God started talking to me through like stuff outside of my door like you know God I asked God one day God what should I do and God told me YouTube here's how it happened I went outside after I asked God what to do and then literally I go for a walk and I see this disc right outside of my house in big letters that said YouTube. So I was like, okay, that's years ago when I made my first YouTube channel. But I deleted it because um, I was going through a lot of stuff and crying on YouTube and stuff. So I just decided to not make a YouTube video at that time. But now I feel a lot more positive and a lot better. And that is because I have chosen to be single. And I think that I won't be in a relationship again, you know, I don't think I will because I don't want to be in one unless I fall in love first. Because a lot of people, they think that they need someone else to be happy, but in reality, you just create more pain by getting more and more people that you don't love. So I'm just telling you now that, you know, sometimes when you're, you know, feeling depressed and down, getting a significant other is not the answer. And that's the facts. Sometimes you just have to be socially isolated, like I was. You know, there's lots of people that were socially isolated in the time of awakening, like a spiritual awakening, and it's completely fine. In fact, the first time I started manifesting, I knew nothing about it. I knew nothing about it. But I just pretended that I was God and that everything was okay and I used my imagination. And that's when I started to manifest my soulmate. And it, I started watching tarot card videos and I started to just pretend that the tarot cards were right and that I would meet my soulmate. And then I said, yes, I'll meet my soulmate this month. And then that month I met this guy who was super magical and it was just insane. I never knew I could have a uh, experience like that. So I'm just telling you guys that, you know, sometimes you just have to pretend. You have to pretend to be happy sometimes. Sometimes when you pretend you're actually doing it and you don't really realize it, like you might think you're sad inside, but you're actually kind of happy when you're pretending. You're, you're kind of happy. It's like, oh, well, it's better than acting depressed. At least I'm acting happy, you know? It's better than acting out the, you know, act of depression. It's, 
you know, it helps. It's kind of therapeutic. That's what I did when I got my first job because I was so scared of people. I just pretended to be happy and I kind of was. I, I kind of was. Like that was kind of what it was. And I didn't realize it completely, but I was kind of pretending it and it was becoming true. So I just want you guys to know that when you pretend, pretending is fundamental to manifesting what you want. It, it really, you know, belief is power. Because we are all God. We are all gods. And if God doesn't know that God is God, it won't believe it. And we are God. We have to believe in ourselves. We're the God of our body. We are in control of everything we do. And then other gods are the gods of their body. That's how it works. We're all one God connected. And that's why synchronicities happen. But we're all in different bodies. We're all one God just living different lives. That's parallel realities. So I just want to tell you guys, thank you for watching. I hope I helped you. And I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Thank you.